Welcome to Mars, our most visited planet, and quite possibly, the future home of humanity. Since the 1960s, we have been obsessed with this planet, embarking on several expeditions to its red, barren landscape. Our constant observations have led to the discovery of many fascinating features on this planet. What's more, billionaire Elon Musk, who's the CEO of SpaceX, a private space exploration company, has been working on building a human civilization on this planet for many years now. Mars will be the greatest adventure ever in human history. It would be so exciting to wake up in the morning and think that that's what's happening. So don't be surprised that within the next couple of decades we might be partying on Mars. In this video, we take an extensive look at this red planet and the secrets embedded within its desolate landscape. Join us as we explore Elon Musk's discoveries on Mars, the biggest secrets, objects and breakthroughs on Mars, History of Mars Exploration Humanity's obsession with the Red Planet is not new. As a matter of fact, for the longest of times, we have undertaken several expeditions and missions to Mars. Apart from the Moon, which has received its considerable share of attention, Mars remains one of the major focus of interplanetary explorations. But why have we become obsessed with this Red Planet? What secrets lie within its barren landscape that has made it a suitable candidate for various missions and expeditions? Well, there are some major reasons why humans have been embarking on several adventures to Mars. Let's examine them one by one. First is the fact that Mars is the most Earth-like planet in our solar system. Yes, that may seem hard to believe, considering its present state, but it is true. Considering the structure and history of this planet, it bears semblance with our green Earth. The most fascinating part is that scientists believe that Mars may have even been a thriving planet like Earth billions of years ago. When you look at Mars today, what you see is a desolate wasteland filled with nothing, but ancient Mars may have looked very different from what we see today. This promising past intrigues us and inspires us to venture into its barren embrace in search for answers to the origin and history of the universe. But that's not the only reason the red planet has been an object of fascination for humans our next reason is even more interesting. Mars, although desolate, remains the best candidate for human interplanetary existence. To put it simply, if humans ever needed to move from Earth to another planet, Mars would be our first option because it is the most inhabitable planet for humans and other living species on Earth. But this dream of interplanetary existence is not a far-fetched reality. As a matter of fact, in the near future, this dream is expected to become a reality. This is where Elon Musk comes in. For a very long time, the SpaceX CEO has been chasing a dream of establishing a human civilization on the Martian surface. Uh, it's, well, I, I wouldn't, for the prototype at least, I would recommend not dropping anything when you're near it. <laughs> As if that was not enough, Elon believes that by 2029, SpaceX will be able to send astronauts to Mars. Now that's absolutely amazing, but that's not even the biggest part of this story. According to Elon Musk, the dream is to create a city that can house up to a million people on the red planet. This Martian city would also be self-sustainable and could potentially transform humans into a multi-planet species. His timeline for achieving this monumental goal is as amazing as the feat itself. Elon projects that within the next three decades, we could have a thriving, self-sustaining human city on the red planet. But why would it be necessary to leave the comforts of our green planet and head for another home in the stars? Why is our exploration of Mars more than just a hobby, but a mission born out of absolute necessity? To answer this question, we look at our planet's past and the catastrophic events that have devastated its green, lush ecosystem in times past. For a long time, scientists have predicted that a huge event, the likes of which wiped out the dinosaurs, would soon hit the Earth. As a matter of fact, the possibility of such an event happening is not a matter of if, but when. In the event of an extinction-level meteor strike, comet shower, or any other natural disaster capable of wiping out the Earth's population, it is essential that we find solace far, far away from the shores of our green planet. Unlike other out-of-this-world structures, this city would not only be inhabited by scientists and researchers, instead, it would be filled with ordinary humans, just like every other earthly city. 
Considering the fact that undertaking this massive project would cost huge amounts of money, the big question is how ordinary people would be able to afford such a trip. The solution to this is also quite simple. According to Elon's plan, anyone who is interested in moving to Mars City would be able to pay for their flights with a loan. On getting to their new home, these people would be able to pay for their travel loans by working in several facilities that will be built on the Martian surface, such as iron foundries and pizzerias, among others. So what would the government on this Mars City be like? To find the answers to this, we take a look at the Starlink Internet Service Terms and Conditions, which was released in October 2020. According to this document, Mars City would be a free, self-governing city. It would be able to make its own laws, decide its own government, and exist without being under the influence of any earthly government. But this might not really be possible. According to the Outer Space Treaty signed in 1967, the launch origin country is responsible for subsequent space activities on the destination planet. What this means is that the United States might actually be in charge of the administration of Mars City. But SpaceX will most likely not stop with one city. Paul Wooster, the principal Mars development engineer for SpaceX, said during the 21st Annual International Mars Society Convention in August 2022 that the private space exploration plans to build multiple cities on the planet. The idea is to start with an outpost, grow into a larger base, and from there move on to build bigger cities. When this dream eventually becomes reality, it could be the single most important thing humans have ever done. Such a monumental achievement would make the moon landing look like child's play and totally shatter the concept of impossibility. Will this happen in our lifetime? Or is this a fantasy born from the minds of an over-imaginative billionaire? Time will definitely tell. Mars best kept secrets. But what discoveries have been made on the red planet that makes it suitable for sustaining life? What have scientists been able to see up there that has informed our decision to keep exploring the red planet for so many years? Let us examine them one by one. Organic compounds. Imagine Mars some one or two billion years ago brimming with life, at least the kind of life that could exist on the planet at the time. While such a reality feels like a fantasy, NASA has uncovered several pieces of evidence that point to the fact that life may have existed on the planet some billions of years ago. According to findings by the Curiosity rover, a robotic explorer scouring the Martian surface for evidence of life found that the planet possessed an abundance of organic compounds. These organic compounds are considered to be the building blocks of life, which means finding them on Mars points to a more lush past, where ancient organisms thrived. Could Mars have been home to many living organisms in times past? Scientists cannot essentially provide a straight answer to this question. This is because finding the right chemistry necessary for life on the planet does not essentially mean that complex organisms like the humans and animals that dominated the Earth's landscape also once walked the planet. What it means is that, at one point or the other, Mars was blessed with the right ingredient essential to create life. Evidence of liquid water. Take a look at this dazzling image of the Martian surface captured by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO. What you are looking at is the strongest evidence that once upon a time, liquid water flowed freely on the Martian surface. Again, it might seem unlikely that this used to be, considering how dry and desolate the planet is now. But back in ancient times, things were quite different. These dark, narrow, long streaks you are looking at are called the recurring slope lineae. Measuring about 1,000 meters long, these lines were formed by the actions of constantly flowing water many, many years ago. Today we're going to announce that under certain circumstances, liquid water has been found on Mars. For many years, the quest for explorations to Mars has been to follow the water. This is because scientists believe that water provides the best opportunity for the proliferation of life. But this is not the only evidence of flowing water that we have on this planet. By studying the big canyons on the Martian landscape, scientists discovered that they featured certain seasonal dark streaks, numbering into thousands. These features are believed to be evidence of liquid salty water on the planet. Researchers believe that these dark streaks were formed as underground water makes its way to the surface of the planet. 
You should, however, know that Mars also has a massive supply of ice caps trapped underground. For example, scientists have discovered a slab of ice as large as California and Texas on the Red Planet. This ice cap, which is located beneath the surface of the planet, has long been suspected to be responsible for some strange, layered craters on the planet. Mars also boasts of some high-latitude regions, which feature patterned ground shapes that may have formed as the permafrost in the soil freezes and thaws over time. Considering the fact that scientists believe Mars was once filled with lakes, oceans, and seas, one can only wonder what led to this drastic change in its landscape. The Martian atmosphere. How easy is it to breathe on Mars? Findings made by Dutch-American astronomer Gerard P. Kuiper in 1947 revealed that the Martian atmosphere is composed mainly of carbon dioxide. This atmosphere is very thin, compared to Earth's, and exerts less than 1% of Earth's atmospheric pressure at the surface. The temperature in the atmosphere is also quite high. Normally, the temperature experienced at the lower atmosphere can be about minus 70 degrees Celsius. This is considerably colder than the average daytime surface temperature which can reach up to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Because Mars is considerably smaller than Earth, the conditions of its atmosphere are quite different from those of our green planet. When man eventually establishes a colony on this red planet, according to Elon Musk's plans, weather forecasts could be quite strange. The weather on Mars is considerably colder than Earth, even as cold as minus 195 degrees Celsius. But that's not even all. Dust storms are a common occurrence on the Red Planet. The dust has been known to disable robotic space probes sent to Mars for observations. So we should really understand what we are up against. Vales Marineris. Welcome to Mariner Valley, also known as Valeris Marineris. Fasten your seatbelts because it's about to be a wild ride. What you are looking at is a vast canyon system that runs along the Martian equator just east of the Tharsis region. You've probably heard of the Grand Canyon, one of the most marvelous naturally occurring landscapes on Earth. But what you are about to witness will swallow the Grand Canyon up in a single bite. While the Grand Canyon measures about 500 miles in length and one mile in depth, Valles Moneris is about 2,500 miles long and it reaches depths of up to four miles. Now that's absolutely massive. In fact, you should know that the Valles Moneris makes up 20% of the Martian surface so you definitely won't miss this one. To put this into perspective, the area occupied by Valles Moneris is equivalent to the size of the entire United States. Crafted by the delicate hands of time, this canyon remains another evidence of the existence of flowing water on the Martian surface. Most researchers believe that the canyon is a large tectonic crack in the crust of the red planet, which was formed as the planet cooled, but that's not the entire story of its creation. This crack was then affected by the rising crust in the Tharsis region to the west, and then it was widened by the forces of erosion. This indicates the action of water as part of the factors responsible for the creation of this massive canyon. Valles Marineris remains one of the largest canyons in our solar system and is only surpassed in length by the mid-ocean ridge system of our green Earth. The canyon system starts from the west with a region known as Noctis Labyrinthus. As we journey to the east, we find Tithonium and Ayus Kasmata, then on to Melis, Candor, and Ophir Kasmata. Moving on in our tour, we find Coprates Kasma, then Ganges, Capri, and the Eos Kasmata. Finally, at the end of our tour, the canyon empties into an outflow channel region, containing chaotic terrains that eventually end in the basin of Chrissy Planitia. Further strengthening our argument on the existence of flowing water on this planet, Millions and billions of years ago are the materials found on the floor of this canyon. When you explore the Kander and Melas Kasmata, you will find materials that have been collapsed by the removal of ice or water. By all indications, it is clear as day that many, many years ago, Mars wasn't the desolate landscape that it is today. Volcanoes. Travel with us to this monumental structure on the red planet known as Olympus Mons. This towering mountain, which looks like a tiny pimple on the planet's face, is known to be the largest volcano on Mars, and also ties with Rhea Silvia as the tallest mountain in the solar system. What you're looking at is a massive bowl of hot lava, standing at over 72,000 feet high. To put that into perspective, 
This massive mountain is about three times the size of Mount Everest, the highest mountain on Earth. Olympus Mons is also 100 times bigger than Mauna Loa in Hawaii, known to be the largest volcano on Earth. But Olympus Mons is just one of thousands of volcanoes present on the Red Planet. There are other active volcanoes that may even be currently erupting on the planet as we speak. These include Elysium, Syrtis Major, and a cluster of low-profile volcanic structures located near the Hellas Impact Basin. For a very long time, scientists believed that Mars had experienced its worst volcanic activity and is now inactive. But recent findings have disproved this. According to NASA, Mars may currently be experiencing a wave of volcanic eruptions, which continues to churn the planet, adding to its desolation. But that's not even the most fascinating part of this planet. Nothing would prepare you for what comes next. Ancient doorway. What better place to find proof of extraterrestrial life than on another planet, right? Scientists may be onto something with this recent discovery, when the Curiosity rover took this picture of a doorway cut into a cliff on Mars. The internet went haywire, as everyone threw around speculations to explain the origin and nature of the structure. While imaging a mound known as the East Cliffs in the Gale Crater on the Martian surface, Curiosity took this strange picture of what looked like an ancient doorway. But what exactly is it? Where does it lead to? And who built it? The doorway is about 12 inches tall and 16 inches wide, so it's more of a doggy door. But its eerie shape gave scientists something to ponder about, and finally they were able to come up with an explanation for this mysterious phenomenon. According to scientists, this is in fact not a doorway, but a naturally occurring phenomenon. Such kinds of open fractures are usually common in bedrock, both on Earth and on Mars. So why did many people think it was a door, you ask? Well, that is due to a phenomenon known as pareidolia. This is defined as the brain's tendency to bring out ambiguous shapes from harmless images. It is why you see human faces and animal forms when you look at clouds. This particular rock features several intersecting fractures, which allows the rock to break at such sharp angles. Sorry, conspiracy theorists. It's a loss on this one. Martian Pyramids If you thought the ancient doorway was the only weird thing discovered on the Red Planet, you would be absolutely wrong. Take a look at these structures, which bear striking semblance to the pyramids found in Egypt and some other parts of the world. Considering the fact that the existence of pyramids on Earth has often been credited to the works of aliens, it is quite baffling how a structure that looks exactly like pyramids could exist on a planet like Mars. Could the alien civilization that built these pyramids be responsible for the construction of the earthly versions, or are we all just reading too much meaning to simple structures, like we always do? Not surprisingly, it seems the latter is the case. Although these structures look like pyramids, we do not have sufficient evidence to classify them as ancient artifacts. NASA did not reveal the scale of the image captured by the Curiosity rover, so it is difficult to ascertain how large the structure was. Also, there are no additional photographs, corroborating the existence of the paragraph. Therefore, we may have to classify this as another case of pareidolia. Thanks for watching while you are here. Click the video on the screen to watch more amazing content.